All right, everybody, it's Leon coming to you again. Uh, it's going to bring you an update on these manifolds that I'm making. So until we uh, get the poly built, these are what we are doing now. I showed you this the other day. So this customer is wanting four of these. Uh, they're building two trailers like my trailer. So we're gonna take these to Tennessee this week and install them. So this is the front side. I really like this, the way these uh, T's come together. They got the uh, true blue on them. So they, I put one on my trailer yesterday and I really like it. Uh, I just want to make sure we had no problems with them. Uh, the barb and the soap valve is going to always be quarter inch. So there's your soap valve barb. So the way you do these things, you put a half inch, you go one inch, half inch reducer. You put your half inch soap and then you reduce down to a quarter inch barb. So the way these things work is when this bleach cuts off, this soap will cut off. Now this will be a manual soap valve, the extra one is. And this is the back side of it. So there's your cord that goes to your battery and that controls your 12 volt remote and your solenoid switch. So this one has the three way on it. So the way you hook these up, you put water and bleach, bleach, water, vice versa. It does not matter which side. Uh, so you got two waters coming in. You got one water in the back and one water on the front. This is your secondary water that flushes out this valve. So anyway, this is where your main water goes and everything's labeled. This is your bypass. This is what made these things famous, guys. All right, if any of you are new to the channel and you're new to uh, these uh, metering valves or gas roof pump, uh, I guess I kind of put the gas roof pumps on the map for everybody. I started using them, showing everybody what I was doing. Anyways, guys, so for years we had the batch mix and we kept working and developing these until finally we got them just about pretty well perfected. So if you're not using the gas roof pump, that's okay. Uh, again, I don't sell the gas roof pumps. So, you know, somebody's been calling me out. These guys building these 12 volts are mad at me because of these, but that's all right. We're not going to get in their little uh, mud slinging. We're not going to get on that level. We're going to keep doing what we're doing. So here's a few of the manifolds that I've got built right there. And these will be put on a plate like that. So anyway, I've got four of these built and uh, I'll put the rest of them together tomorrow. Wednesday, I'm going up to Nashville, Tennessee to deliver these to my good friend, Mr. Don. We're building him two flatbed trailers or two deck over trailers like mine. All right, guys, I'm going to give you all a sneak peek, sneak preview what we're about to do. This is my shop. And uh, so we're getting ready to expand Southern style. And uh, so this is my shop. And this is the first phase. We will outgrow this pretty fast. We know that. And uh, but what we're about to start doing, I'm phasing out of the pressure washing business. I'll have people run my pressure washing business. But anyway, this is my shop. So we're going to, I hired a guy full time. We're going to start building trailers. So we're going to, every trailer we build will have the gas roof pump on it. And uh, it'll have the 10 gallon machines on it. So anyways, guys, my first trailer I'm building is going to be a deck over trailer like mine. It's going to have two 10 gallons. 
It's going to have two gas roof pumps. It's going to have the manifolds, have the 500 gallon tank, two 55 gallon tanks. It's going to be like my trailer. And uh, we're going to be building that here in a few weeks, get started on it. I've got five more trailers on order and I've got three 12 or actually three seven by 12s tandem axles coming with 5,200 pound axles. I've got two regular trailers coming with 52 pound axles. So we're going to be building six trailers here. They are not sold. They are not asked for. So anyway, we're going to be building six trailers and, uh, while I'm here, let me just real quick show you guys something. So kind of show you what we're doing. So I'm having guys come in tomorrow. They're going to be pouring concrete here that will butt up to this. That way we can, and then these two doors are coming out and I'm having 16 foot door put in there so I can pull my trailers in, work on them during the winter. And, uh, so this is pretty convenient. This is right next door to Affordable Trailers, which is my brother. Let me show you guys something. Now, any of you guys looking for a trailer, you need to call Affordable Trailers. Here's his number right here. He's in LaGrange, Georgia, where I'm at. Let me zero in on his number here so you guys can see it. That's what you need right there. So. <laughs> anyway he's got all kind of trailers so he's got me some trailers on order uh here's the famous deck over trailer that we made famous he's got i think he's got four of these in and uh so if you look for a deck over trailer he's got them this is this is the first trailer i'm going to build in a couple weeks and it'll be up for sale He's got trailer after trailer, probably best selection of anybody around. And he's got more coming in. Any of you guys want an enclosed trailer? There you go. He's got the enclosed. Uh, Ricky, you go on Leon's online store and I'll put a link on this after I get through, but Leon's online store to order if you want the manifold if you want the trailers you call my brother but anyway guys these are the deck over trailers they have 7,000 pound axles they're 8 by 16 mine's an 8 by 14 and I wish I had the 16 foot because they do uh, so much better you need you need that extra 2 foot so this is uh, this is my trailer here that I just bought. So I'm going to be building this. If any of you guys out there want this trailer after I build it, it's gonna be for sale. Not the trailer by itself, but the accessories on it. It's gonna have two 10 gallon uh, Honda 800s on it. It's gonna have two gas roof pumps, two manifolds, 500 gallon water tank, two 55 gallon bleach tanks to run each gas roof pump. It'll have electric reels on it. It's gonna be decked out. This is gonna be a nice trailer to have. And uh, so anyway, guys, just kind of want to bring you up to date, kind of give you a sneak peek what we're about to do. I told y'all we had some things coming. Gonna be bigger and better. This trailer, these two trailers right here have already been sold to Jonathan at North Georgia Airless. He's picking them up next week. He's going to be building these two trailers out. So we'll be building some just like that right there. Tandem axles, 5,200 pound axles. So everything I build, guys, is going to have 5,200 pound axles or 7,000 pounds. So these come with 7,000 pound axles. So everything that I build is going to be heavy duty. It's going to be able to withstand the wear and tear that we put on these trailers. So anyway, guys, this is what we're doing. And uh, 
So I've got six trailers. I hired a full-time guy. I want to teach him how to build them. He's very mechanically inclined. And uh, so he's going to be coming in and he's going to be building, help me build the trailers. Again, we're pouring this with concrete tomorrow. That way we can tear it. We're going to tear out these doors, put a 16 foot door in. We'll be able to build trailers in the warmth in the winter, cool in the summer. But this building here, we'll outgrow it in no time. But this is my shop where I build the manifolds. And uh, so we got room to bring a trailer in. We actually got room to build two trailers at one time. And uh, we will take orders on down the road if that's what you want to do. We'll probably set it up on the online store where you can go in and order them there. Uh, but anyway, this is going to be the new shop. And we ship all of the soap out of here. So again, if you have not bought the Southern Style Surfactant, go on Leon's online store. You can buy it in the five gallon buckets. You can buy it in the cases. Four comes in a case. So you get four one gallon jugs and this is what it looks like right here. So there you go. Uh, this stuff is the best on the market. So what we're building guys, we're not building little cheap trailers. When we build, we're going to build the stuff that's going to last. And, uh, so anyways, so get ready. These, these are things that are coming, coming to you soon. And, uh, we're going to keep, uh, vamping up the online store. So we got a lot of things in the making guys. We got things we're going to be doing that make your job easier, better, more efficient. That's what we're all about. More being more efficient. So again, Mr. Don in Nashville, we got you on the way, brother. We, we're going to bring them to you. So we're delivering four of these and building a deck over trailer while we're there in Nashville this week. I'll be pulling out of here Wednesday night. Thursday, we'll be working on his trailers, getting them built, getting them ready. Uh, one more thing I'm about to do, guys, is... Uh, this is pretty cool, I think. I've mentioned this before, but those enclosed trailers you saw out there, we're going to eventually, probably next spring, we're going to build me a, a, a rolling store. So, in other words, what we're going to do, being these gas roof pumps are, have become so popular and all these uh, manifolds have become popular, so by next year, a lot of you guys already bought these. You'll be ready to upgrade. You'll be ready to change them out, put a new one on. So we're going to have a rolling store. Uh, again, I've hired somebody full-time to do nothing but build these manifolds. And to we're going to be building trailers, manifolds, the whole nine yards. So, But uh, we'll have these in stock before too long. You won't have to wait on them any longer like you've been waiting because uh, they're going to be built every day, every day being put together. So anyways, we're going to have the online store and, and we'll have the rolling store. So that means we'll be coming into a city close to you. We'll hook up your manifold. We'll hook up your gas roof pump. We'll tune it up. We'll uh, plumb it for you. Whatever you need done, that's what we'll do. And I, it'll be me personally uh, because of the experience that I have with these things, use them so long. So that's kind of some of the things we're going to be offering next spring. So uh, hopefully by the winter, we'll be ready to do that, be rolling out our uh, traveling store. So again, we pull up the inside the enclosed trailer, have a little work area. We'll be able to have these in stock. We'll have these on hand. You can purchase them. Uh, we'll take them to different shows and begin to show people. But again, this is what we're going to, guys. This right here, the poly propylene is what we eventually are going to so so this will replace that and everything's going to be one inch 
So it's going to be one inch polypropylene, and uh, that's going to be pretty cool. We got a machine shop working on that for us. So anyway, we're busy. We're working every day. We're working all day in the field. Then we come home, and I'm working on these things at night. Uh, you see, it's late here already, and uh, so as soon as I get through tonight, we'll go home. Get up in the morning, go wash, come down here, work on some more stuff. So, all right, guys. But I'm well, well pleased with these. I love the way they it closes the gap in there. They're close together. Like I said, I put one on my trailer yesterday. It has worked fine. I'm going to work it all week and just see how it does. But uh, so far, I really like it. All right. Thanks, Derek. This is great news, man. We're going, we got a lot coming your way, okay? A lot coming your way. And uh, we're constantly inventing things. We're constantly making the wheel better. So there's a lot of ideas I've got. Once I'm able to kind of turn my uh, pressure washing business over to someone else and let them begin to run that, I can focus more on the mechanical side of things on this business. So we're all about making this business better. So this is going to be an awesome opportunity for us. So y'all get ready for great things to come. And uh, this is Leon. Appreciate y'all watching. Share these videos. Share them to other sites. I, I have not made any videos to the other sites, but share them and uh, let people know what we're doing. You know, if you see anybody on this site that's criticizing, let us know. We take them off real quick. We don't allow it. This group is all about helping you, giving you information, making your life easier. And like I said before, the only dumb question is the question you don't ask. So ask any question you want to ask, and we'll help you out. We'll try to answer it the best way we can. All right, guys. Y'all have a good night. We'll talk to y'all later. Appreciate each and every one of you. Appreciate your support. Appreciate what y'all have done for the online store. Appreciate your confidence in us and uh, trust in me like you have. Uh, it goes a long ways with me, and I promise you, if you buy a product from me and something is not right, I'll make it right. I've already I've turned around and sent everything back out to some guys because they had a few little problems. And uh, let me show you this right here. This is what came off my trailer. So the reason we're going away from this type of manifold, and I know a lot of you guys have this manifold. It's a great manifold. It has really worked, but I'm like this. The moment guys start having problems, I start changing up. So the problem they had was this is like a swivel, like a union, and it was started leaking on them. It has like a little O-ring in there. Plus these things are not as thick as this schedule 80 and if you get it close to your muffler they'll start bending and warping uh, so anyway these have done great we've sold a bunch of them I've I still got one on my trailer I've got one of these on my trailer and one of those on my trailer so anything I sell you guys is something that I'm I'm using going to use or will use I'm not gonna sell you guys anything that's you know that I wouldn't use myself uh, so thanks. I see mine has shipped today. Thanks, Leon. You're welcome, Brent. Uh, Adam, there you go. 100% support you, buddy, from taking care of everything with me. Adam was one of them that had some trouble. We sent him out all the new parts. UPS beat the crap out of his box, so we just sent him everything to uh, replace it. So that's the way we do it. I mean, if you're not right, happy with it, we'll make it right. If I can't make it right, I refund your money. That's just, that's who I am. I run my pressure washing business that way. I run this business that way. I run my whole life this way. I'd rather give you a dollar than I had to take a dollar. So, but anyway, guys, we just want to bring you up to date. So right now, this is what we had out there. And like I said, if you got it, it's working. It's great. You know, don't worry about it. You're, you're in good hands. Then we went to this, and next we'll be going to this. And also, guys, there's another thing that I'm about to do. I just ordered today 
the bigger plate so you see how big this one is this is 16 inches i just ordered the plate about 24 inches long so it'd be about right along here and what we're going to do instead of putting all this here on the back side so i'm going to have it where everything is on the front side so everything you need will be on the front side. If you have to work on this on your trailers, it'll be easy to get to. And also we're gonna have it big enough where we can put a three-way banjo manual valve. So uh, if we can't get the three-way T-jet valves, we'll get the two-way and we'll be able to wash out these metering valves with the manual valve. So, all right, so like I said, this stuff will, we're about to get to the place. We'll get it caught up. We still are about 20 orders behind, but we will get those just as hard as we can. So just hang in there, guys. Be patient, and we'll get you guys rolling. And again, appreciate y'all. Appreciate your patience. Appreciate your business. All right, guys. We'll let you go. We'll talk to y'all later. We'll be on the field tomorrow. Do some more videos tomorrow. Y'all have a good night.